There are advantages to building structured meshes when they are feasible. In particular, you have complete control over the size, shape, and quality of every element in the model. You build structured meshes directly within Autodesk Simulation Mechanical. No solid or surface CAD model is needed. Structured meshes can consist of line, planar, or solid elements in any combination. In addition, structured mesh portions can be added to CAD-based auto-meshed models. Here are a few examples of structured mesh models that can each easily be generated in 15 minutes or less. Model 1 is 100% 8 node bricks, Model 2 is 100% quadrilateral plates, and Model 3 combines brick, truss, and plate elements. There are six basic structured mesh tools under the Mesh tab of the ribbon. These are used to define meshes based on a set of corner vertices or based on sketched construction lines, circles, arcs, or splines. This model contains an example of each of the six tools. Once a mesh is created, it is listed under Meshes in the browser. Subsequently, it can be edited to redefine its parameters and rotated or extruded using the Move, Rotate, and Scale or Copy commands in the context menu. For this four-point mesh, it is not necessary that all four points lie on the same plane. Define the number of divisions for two edges. The size can be constant or can follow an arithmetic or geometric progression to make the element density greater locally. The three-point mesh has the smallest divisions at the top vertex and the four-point mesh at the left edge. The 8-point 3D mesh tool generates brick elements. The four points belonging to any particular face do not have to all lie in a common plane. With this tool, you specify divisions along three edges. This example increases the divisions as you move along the edges running in the plus x direction. The remaining tools operate on sketched construction lines. The simplest tool divides a line, circle, arc, or spline into a specified number of segments suitable for truss, beam, or other line element types. Divisions can be constant or varying in the same manner as the point-based tools. Create plate shell meshes between two construction objects or solid meshes between four construction objects. The two-object mesh is generated from lines lying in different planes. Rotating the viewpoint makes this more obvious. Notice how the program gradually transitions between edges, that is, construction objects, with different shapes and different spatial orientations. In addition to the previously discussed structured meshing tools, you can build geometry line by line and extrude or revolve selected lines into various element types. Use the commands on the Draw tab of the ribbon to do this. In this example, we start with a four-point mesh and then rotate, move, and copy it in a single operation to generate a helix. We join 270 copies, moving 12 inches in the X direction, while rotating 4.5 revolutions about the X axis. Note that the derived geometry is associative with the original mesh. If you change the four-point mesh divisions, the derived helical extrusion is updated automatically. Here is an example that started as a 2D mesh and was copied, scaled, and rotated to produce the final solid element mesh. Finally, you can build structured meshes of complex pressure vessels and similar structures using the PV Designer utility included with Simulation Mechanical. Cylinders, heads, nozzles, flanges, and reinforcement pads are dimensionally defined. Mesh divisions are automatic but can be customized. Here, finishing touches are applied using the drawing and modification tools in the FEA editor. The rectangular nozzles were converted into support saddles and cross braces and flange gussets were added.